fans of Privateer FX. A couple of charts here for you for the European morning. We've got this S&P chart, which is coming to fruition here. Neckline now comes at around 01 today. You can look at it like a sort of a head and shoulders. Or just defining the uptrend um, over the last two weeks. But through 2800, uh, we should see some acceleration and we should see a lot of people uh, trading this pattern here. So, no reason you shouldn't jump on board. Or short S&P's looks the way. Cable today we got MPC inflation and all this nonsense. This defines it here. This this pennant or wedge or whatever you want to call it. Your downside support. 13093 your top side resistance 131 52 just trade the price on this it's going to be hectic with all of these releases at the same time uh, it's really hard to get a real grip on direction um, be open minded if they're hawkish, trade the top side. If they're dovish, trade the downside. Euro looks like it's set to continue to head lower today. FOMC was a dud last night. 116.20, uh, it'll be an interesting point. Should be support there first time. Really now, everyone's kind of waiting for this 115.76 area. And once this goes, the 115.08s are in play. So, we like core short Euro dollar and Euro yen. Look at the Euro yen here. Technically, it's not beautiful. It gets more interesting through 129.13. But we had a nice turn yesterday in Euro yen. We missed a break trade there through 57. Asleep at the wheel. Um, core short Euro yen also looks, looks okay. Aussie yen, sort of same as Euro yen. We've turned. And then Aussie. We're just kind of waiting for the 73.18 to to get dinged percent away today so it's unlikely but through these lows here we're going to get another leg down um, and head towards 70 cents kiwi not doing too much cad also very muted so the focus today is basically the stock charts and sterling Euro sterling, middle of the range, tough one. It's got a bit of a downward bias recently, but hard to say what to do with that exactly. Oh yeah, one other thing. These EM currencies. News yesterday about land appropriation, never a good thing for South Africa. This thing looks like it wants to turn. Yesterday was not. We did print a higher high and a higher low, but just got to keep an eye on this. I have a feeling uh, Dollar Rand is going to zip higher. Obviously, Dollar Turkey is uh, at five now, so that's also helping. The Dollar Max looks even better. Again, we had like a a bearish bullish day yesterday higher highs higher lows but we closed at the lows tricky day to trade we're gonna buy dollar mix through uh, 71 today could be news from nafta uh, a lot of things could happen dollar mix but um, 
this looks like it's going to turn and we get some sort of acceleration bar maybe through 71 maybe through this pivot here 7650 keep an eye on dollar max alright I'll leave you guys with that and uh, I'll see you at the New York Open good luck